Sebastian Vettel has played down a major reshuffle at Ferrari, with change only likely to its quality control department as a result of the team's nightmare rounds at the last three races. Ferrari chairman Sergio Marchionne said he was intervening after the race at Sepang, where Vettel started 20th after a turbo failure in qualifying, eventually fighting back to fourth. While a power unit issue meant his teammate Kimi Raikkonen had to be pushed from the pre-grid at the last minute, the Finn failing to start, which Marchionne angrily described as really ugly. Vettel, though, denied dramatic change was on the cards. It's normal that we have a shift in people, Vettel said, but there's no panic, no big plans as a reaction. However, Japan was another write-off for the Scuderia, with Vettel retiring with a broken spark plug, initially detected on the grid. And Marchionne is not one to suffer fools. It's unlikely he will deliver yet another groveling address at the end of the year, should the driver's title head back to arch-rival Mercedes, as per 2016. I think we've been humbled by the success of the other teams and by the speed with which they've been able to better their car throughout the season. Renault Sport has revealed it's developing special engine modes for its 2018 power unit as a way to close the gap to its rivals in qualifying. The French manufacturer has made big gains this year as a works entry, scoring points in seven of the first 16 Grands Prix, but has faced criticism from customer team Red Bull Racing on its inability to turn up the wick in the final moments of Q3, a speciality of Mercedes. And it's a feature the brand is looking to introduce for next season, said Renault Sport Racing's managing director, Cyril Abitable. There is clearly a bit missing in qualifying, Abitable said. We don't have that sort of magic qualifying mode, but we are working hard on it. Renault Sport's ambitions to become a top team by 2020 came into sharp focus ahead of the Malaysian GP with news it was set to recruit the FIA's former F1 technical chief, Marcin Budkowski. The headlines sent shockwaves through F1, with Budkowski privy to team data and Swiss law limiting gardening leave to three months, meaning he could potentially influence its 2018 car with its competitors' secrets. Renault confirmed the move in Japan, though said it was also open to pushing back its new executive director's start date to April 2018. Red Bull Racing was F1's last top team to reveal its new car this year. The RB13 breaking cover online just a day before pre-season testing, with the tagline, unlucky for some. And the lateness of its launch event is something of a theme, with the outfit preferring to delay the first look at its new Challenger as late as possible to ensure maximum development time. But Dutch sensation Max Verstappen has pointed out it could be a reason for the team's recent slow season starts. Maybe just stop the development a bit earlier, but then drive the car, because you learn a lot in driving the car, he said. There's a lot riding on next season's RB14, with both Verstappen and teammate Daniel Ricciardo likely able to leave at the end of the season and the squad's last championship campaign in 2013. Here we go. Here we go. F1 could be set to remove its divisive strategy group, with the need for the decision-making body called into question by the sports power brokers. The strategy group was created in 2013 as a way to combine the sporting and technical working groups, but only included representatives from six of the teams, Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Williams and McLaren, along with a rotating member from the next highest placed outfit, which has been Force India since 2016. And the move divided F1, with four of the 10 teams unable to even attend, skewing power towards the top squads, despite the fact that the FIA and commercial rights holder could combine to overrule. Liberty Media's arrival this year has seen the four non-member teams at least invited, 
while its likely closer collaboration with the FIA has reduced the voting team's power hold on the strategy group. Meaning that it could soon be made redundant, with ideas and votes to go through the F1 commission instead. The strategy group's next meeting is on November 7, ahead of the penultimate round in Brazil. TheInsideLine.com, for everything Formula One.